you if you don't know, we in the studio with Andrea and co-author Jason over there checking the cell phone. All right. And um, we having a good time. We talking about her book, How Could My Husband Be Gay? Um, she went through a lot. And I'm going to let y'all know. Ouch. This sister seems nice, but she's about to break his head off. And her sister-in-law and everybody else who came in her path, honey. I love it. She's definitely an African-American. <laughs> I'm lucky caller won the book. It's signed. We're going to marry. I'm actually going to take it to this person because I see them at church. Uh-huh. She so won this book. make sure you go she get this book. It's great. Great book, I'm telling you. Tell all your friends, we could do a ladies' night on this. Right here. And make sure you check out the website, foresightpublishing.com. Put it up close, some people can't spell. <laughs> Andrea Davis, Jason Lee, how could my husband be gay? I don't know how. Read this book and you'll find out. You may be stuck in a situation yourself. Pretty sure you are. Or you know somebody who is. No, well, there was never, um, excuse me, any instance where my brother, first of all, my brother was very young at the time. Okay. Um, second of all, you know, some people may think that, you know, my ex-husband was the type of person where, you know, he was just flamboyant and it, that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the issues where, you know, well, you should have known, you know, some people in the church say. Right. But sometimes you can't tell just by looking at him or, you know, even spending time with him. He wasn't flamboyant. He wasn't, you know, um, you know, so effeminate that you could look at him and say, oh, you know. Right. Um, <clears throat> my brother and spending time with him, you know, had, had a very good time. You know, he would spend time with us. There was nothing really there mm -hmm. that you could really pinpoint and say, oh, is he gay, you know, right. at that point in time. Because that was, you know, the good part of my marriage. Yeah. When, you know, all that was going on and family, you know, were chilling together and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Which takes me kind of back to the beginning of the book when you spoke on your marriage. I mean, your wedding day. And you spoke on how at your wedding, it was not necessarily your day so much because the mother-in-law and your <laughs> husband wanted to outshine you. Was that... That should sound that, right that there, That wasn't... Honey. I mean, t was that kind of a giveaway to make you feel like, um, you know, something else is going on, has to be going on? Well, that was definitely a sign, but I don't necessarily think it was a sign of him being gay. Um, he was a ma mama's boy, mm -hmm. and that was a, a sign of him being a mama's boy on steroids, basically. Um, you know, it was a sign of family issues, but the way I was raised, you know, my motto for marriage is leave and cleave. That's what the Bible right. says. Right, absolutely. And, and you know, the word. I can see that your parents you definitely yeah. raised you on that. Yeah. And, and so, out of your business. right, and so that was my thing. You know, my family was not an intruding. My parents, even when they knew something was going on a little bit, they weren't right. intruders. And so, in my mind, you know, when we got married, all that type of stuff, you know, should subside a little bit. Yeah. And so, that didn't happen. It didn't. Um, now, now, I beg to differ a little bit. Jason, um, what a, from, coming from your perspective, do you think that that was kind of a giveaway? They, the way he wanted to make sure he overdressed her, yeah. you know, and... He wanted to, it was almost as if she wasn't there. Right. On that it was day. like his day. And now, I, I know a lot of people that have gone through this where the husband, it was, I'm like, baby, he is, he's one of me. Now, 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 would you be able to, would that be a day giveaway for you if you were her best friend then? Could right. you look could and say, you, honey, uh uh. Well, he, I'm for sure you could. I, I think that, you know, if I had known him and, and had witnessed that, I think I probably would have picked up something. Okay, hold on. Um, you know, it's interesting because people always want to, want to say, um, well, what are the signs? And really, there, in a lot of ways, there are no signs. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's individual. Mm -hmm. and, and it depends on the situation and what, you know, you allow and what you don't allow. To think that someone is that, you know, the thing that would have st stuck out to me was that, that was a, really a sign of arrogance. Okay. And I, and I would have questioned 
why there was such a need for him to showboat on on her wedding day because everyone knows traditionally that the the you know the wedding is for the woman. Absolutely. So I would have I would have probably questioned that.